Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you back to Two Minute Tuesdays together. In our last video, we started a conversation on understanding the Bible. So we're going to continue that today. You know, I really believe that a lot of people get intimidated about the Bible. They want to read it, they want to understand it, they want to know it better, but they're not really sure where to start. They, they have questions like, how do I make sense of it all? How does it all fit together? Is there any logic and order to it? And so even before people get started, sometimes these kinds of questions can psych you out. And because you maybe can't answer them or you don't know, then it's harder to get back into studying the Bible. And it can be intimidating. There is a lot here. You know, one of the things I used to always say and drove my kids crazy was I would ask them the question whenever they would be talking about a big problem they had. I says, well, how can one person eat an elephant? And the answer is very simple, one bite at a time. So what I want us to do over the course of these videos is to, to break the Bible down into manageable bites, if you will, into uh, small uh, pieces that we can understand better. And so today what I want to do is, is just to kind of break down the overall structure uh, so that we've got an understanding of what it is we're looking at in, in a very general kind of way. And this will help us to begin the process of eating this elephant, if you will, one bite at a time. So, let's get two minutes on the clock. You may remember from the last video that I talked about how we can broadly divide the Bible as it is into two big sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, both of these are very important. The New Testament didn't replace the Old Testament. We often think that the New replaces the Old in anything in life, but this is not the case. Both of them are important. Some people then will refer to them as the First Testament and the Second Testament as a way of remembering and stating that both are important. One doesn't supersede or outdo the other. So we got the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, we can divide from other than that, um, the whole book Bible is uh, 66 books. We talk about 66 books of the Bible. Now you got to remember, this is one story. This is one book, and uh, it's just one story of God dealing with His people. But there's 66 different books within the Bible. There's 39 books in the Old Testament. There's 27 books in the New Testament. And we're going to, over the coming weeks, we're going to divide each of those sections, the Old Testament and New Testament, into smaller areas to help us remember. Now, out of the 66 books of the Bible, there were over 37 individuals involved in the writing. Some books had multiple writers who contributed to that. Some were just one, but there's over 37. When you think about 37 different people having a hand in writing this, it's amazing how it all works together. And that's because it's not just people writing, it's God inspired. God inspired them and spoke to them and that's what they captured. So 37 different um, writers. Now. The, the history of the Bible, or the history that's covered within the Bible, spans a section of at least 2,000 years. So it covers a broad span. Uh, so what I want to do today is just give you some of this basic information. And I hope you found it helpful. hope you've learned something. I hope that you will join us next time as we begin breaking these down further so we can better understand how the Bible fits together. So I hope you have uh, a good day. I pray for God's blessings on you. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.